The Mughals are descended from the greatest warlord of them all, Genghis Khan. Their distant ancestors were fierce warriors of the Asian steppes, the Mongols. A mere hundred years before Shah Jahan's rise to power, the Mughals swept down from the north onto the plains of India. Their cannons crushed one Indian city after another. By the time of Shah Jahan, the Mughals control most of India. The first time this great land has been unified in nearly 2,000 years. The Mughal rulers bring their faith with them, Islam. After Hinduism, Islam soon becomes India's second religion. But the invaders don't impose it on the people. They seek a balance between the cultures. The Mughal lords proclaim religious tolerance. More than a hundred million people now see business and industry, science and art flourish. Artists at court portray their rulers as godlike beings. There are no limits to the great Mughal's power. Shah Jahan holds sway over his subjects, over life and death. His word is law throughout the empire. This just ruler leads the country to prosperity and stability. The court chronicle records that Shah Jahan brings the people abundant joy and happiness. Under Shah Jahan, Mughal rule in India reaches its dazzling zenith. <laughs>